In today's video, we're going to talk about this book, which is called Mastery by George Leonard. And more specifically, we're going to talk about the mastery curve. So a very common thing that happens to all of us is we get really excited at the beginning of a project and we see some really quick uh, success. We see that curve, you know, really steep and we see like some really fast progress. But as we go along, let's say we're building muscle, for example, okay? As we go along, that curve starts to steady out and then eventually it feels like we're not really making any progress. We're working really hard. We're doing all the things we need to do, but yet we see this curve, you know, instead of going like this, we want fast progress. It seems to kind of steady out and even feels sometimes like it's on a plateau. And what we're going to talk about today is that that is absolutely normal and plateauing is actually part of the mastery curve and the path towards mastery. So here is the mastery curve. So as you see, it's flat, then there's a spike up, then there's a bit of a dip, and then there's a plateau. And then eventually, again, there's a spike up, then there's a dip, and then there's a plateau, and then the same pattern repeats itself over and over again. And so this mastery curve is how your journey towards mastering whatever you're trying to master is going to look. So if you're working hard at something and you're not seeing huge leaps in progress, if you don't see your progress, you know, spiking up like this, don't get discouraged, discouraged, stay the course. It is natural. It is part of the mastery curve. So let me read you some passages from this book. This is on page 15. To take the master's journey, you have to practice diligently, striving to hone your skills, to attain new levels of competence. But while doing so, and this is the inexorable fact of the journey, you also have to be willing to spend most of your time on a plateau, to keep practicing even when you seem to be getting nowhere. Okay, so let's read that again. You have to be well. So on the master's journey, you have to be willing to spend most of your time on a plateau to keep practicing, even when you seem to be getting nowhere. Okay. Now he's not saying you're not getting anywhere. It just seems like you're getting nowhere because you're on that plateau. But what's happening is during that plateau, what you're doing is you're practicing something over and over and over again. And what you're doing during that repetition is you are building a habit. You are building an automatic skill. So the plateau is that time where you're developing that skill and it takes time to master that skill before you get that other uh, spike, before you get that other breakthrough. So let's read another passage. So the reason why I'm sharing the mastery curve with you is because once you know that the way the mastery curve works, you're much less likely, you're much less prone to be discouraged because you understand that you are going through the process. And also when you're on those plateaus, you don't get discouraged. You're like, okay, I'm on the plateau. I'm just gonna, I just have to keep showing up and doing the work and eventually I'll, I'll hit that next spike. Okay. And after that next spike, guess what is another plateau. Okay. So to put it simply, okay, let me start again. So this is page 17. How do you best move toward mastery to put it simply? You practice diligently, but you practice primarily for the, uh, for the sake of practice itself. Okay. Let's say it. Let's say that again. Okay. You practice diligently, but you practice primarily for the sake of the practice itself. Rather than being frustrated while on the plateau, you learn to appreciate and enjoy it as much as you do the upward surges. You see, so the master's journey, the master himself enjoys the plateau. All right. He embraces the whole 
journey, he embraces the whole practice. Rather than being frustrated while on the plateau, the master learns to appreciate and enjoy it just as much as he does the upward surges. So, if you want to master something, if you want to become a master at something, then that is the master's mindset. The master in, learns how to appreciate and enjoy his time on the plateau, and that way he is practicing. Your practice becomes an in, intrinsic reward in and of itself. Okay, it becomes intrinsically rewarding. Instead of waiting for some outcome, you are enjoying the process. And once you enjoy the process, that brings in a whole new level of quality into the work you're putting forth during that process, okay? So, everyone needs to reach mastery in their chosen profession or hobby or whatever thing is important in their life. And now you know the mastery curve, you know how the journey of mastery looks, and so from now on, you're gonna be the patient master, practice, pa practicing patiently, month after month, year after year, gradually reaching those higher levels. So that is the mastery curve. I would recommend this book, Mastery by George Leonard, it's a great book. I think it gives us a very mature view on how to tackle big things in our lives and gets us away from that immature, want it now, uh, you know, cross our arms and give up when we don't get it quickly and gives us a more mature long-term view with the accompanying mature mindset and the emotional, emotionally healthy way to reach mastery which is to enjoy and embrace the journey and the practice itself and not be miserable only until we reach the destination, okay? So, that's the mastery curve, that's mastery. I'm Jad T. Jones, this is The Warrior Ritual. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you join my email newsletter, jump over to warriorritual.com and you will be able to stay in touch with all new programs, free offers and updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.